Welcome to my passion project, The Wine Find Talks. This is where I share one wine that I love, why I love it, and then we taste it. So, let's talk. The wine I'm sharing with you today is a 2021 Fetzer Chardonnay from California. Now this is a wine that I have a soft spot for because it's not only pure deliciousness at a low price, but it stands for the greater good and it always has. The Fetzer family founded Fetzer Vineyards back in 1968 and at the time it pioneered California's regenerative organic viticulture movement, trailblazing a good today, better tomorrow approach. And that was more than 50 years ago. Since then, they've not only maintained, but also deepened and broadened that approach. The winery has since become a certified B Corp, which means they have to meet the highest standards of verified social and environmental performance. The winery, it fosters a culture of diversity, inclusion, and well-being among its employees in a variety of ways, so it's good to its people, and it's certified carbon neutral. One of the first wineries in the US, in fact, to receive that certification. We all want to be a force for the good, and an easy way to do that is by purchasing products such as this bottle right here from companies who are committed to balancing profit with purpose. So let's taste. In the glass, classic color for a wooded Chardonnay. This is indeed wooded. It spent some time with American and French oak, and you can tell by the butter yellow color. It's clear and bright, star bright even. And on the nose, I always love this smell. It smells sunlit. Yes, there's a classic apple orchard fruit, you know, a little bit of pineapple even, fresh fruit of aromas, sure, but that's just ripeness. And as well as that sort of threading through those aromas, are a little bit of butterscotch, butter toast, maybe even a touch of like nutmeg or baking spices. So there's complexity, which is great because this wine costs about $15 in Canada and about 10 in the US. And on the palate, mm. streams in palate drenching, just saturated. So, so much fun to drink really. And yet it finishes dry, you know, it's, it's um, quenching and yet it's also satisfying. It's the kind of wine because there's that body and the richness. It goes really well, sort of served as a cocktail. Mm. Can you tell I just want to keep drinking this? That's the thing about this wine is it's just delicious. You know, it's not complicated. You can pour it absolutely with something like a seafood feast for friends and you can pour it with pride, but you can also pair it, you know, with a bowl of popcorn, you know, on the couch with your favorite movie. It's got versatility. It's well-priced, great value, but it's also good for the planet. And that is what I wanted to talk about. Thank you.